Until recently, hospitals in Japan have focused on treating the most common forms of cancer, such as lung or colon cancer. But last month, the government announced a change in policy to provide treatment for less common types of cancer, including those affecting children. NHK World's Kotomi Fujime has more. Five-year-old Yuki Imai lost her sight in both eyes due to cancer. Her parents first noticed something was wrong with her eyes three months after she was born. They took her for checkups at four different hospitals, but all of the doctors told them there's nothing abnormal. They even took scans of her entire brain. The cancer showed up as a cloudy areas in the eyeballs. Even so, the doctor gave a diagnosis of no abnormality. Finally, Yuki was found to have an extremely rare children's cancer called retinoblastoma. Already over a year had passed since her parents noticed something was wrong. I do wish that a specialist had discovered her cancer while it was still at an early stage. If the cancer is discovered early, and if it isn't too close to an area that affects vision, there is a strong possibility of saving the child's eyesight. There are other cases in which children have such rare forms of cancer that doctors have found it hard to diagnose correctly. Yusei Kihara is now six. Three years ago, doctors found he had a tumor in his left eye. However, over a period of two months, he was misdiagnosed three times before the exact form of cancer was discovered, liposarcoma. Effective treatments depend on accurate diagnosis. By the time Yusei's condition was correctly understood, he'd already undergone the wrong chemotherapy causing serious side effects. This is a country with advanced medical facilities, but there are very few places that know how to treat small children with diseases like this. In the case of Yuki Imai, the eye cancer was discovered too late. Her parents faced a difficult decision, surgery to remove her eyeballs to stop the cancer from spreading, or radiation treatment, which would leave her eyeballs intact, but with the possibility of the cancer recurring and spreading. Her father, Katsuya, wrote a letter for Yuki when she grows up. To the very end, we could not accept the idea of you losing both your eyes. But the highest priority is saving your life. Even if you lose your eyesight, we want you to be able to have a long life. The day after, Yuki's left eye was removed. Later, her right eye had to be removed as well because the cancer had spread. At the time, she was still only 22 months old. Yuki now attends a school for the blind, where she is learning to use her ears and hands to compensate for her lack of eyesight. There are so few medical cases like hers. Hospitals need to do more to collect data and accumulate know-how on treatments. We need a medical system that can support patients in overcoming the difficulties they face. Every year, around 2,500 children in Japan develop cancer. Prompt steps need to be taken to provide them with adequate diagnosis and treatment. Kotomi Fujime, NHK World, Tokushima. New legislation introduced by the government calls for specialized, high-quality treatment for children's cancer to be provided at about 10 major hospitals around the country. This network will also act as a model for treating adults diagnosed with rare forms of cancer.